Welcome to this PS Trace tutorial video. Today I would like to show you how to do integration and linear regression in PS Trace. So, without further ado, let's have a look at PS Trace. Okay, I already load a curve here. It's actually a square wave voltammogram with multiple peaks. I use the auto peak detection to find the peaks, and this is what most of you people will do. And if you are, want to look for the uh, integral, a very sh quick way of doing that is just having the auto, uh, um, the auto peak detection. And then you have your peak, you click on it, and you do have the area of your peak in here. Right in the area of a peak is basically the integral. So if your baseline is good enough and everything, that already works for you. Um, you can also like get a summary of your peaks if you just click on the uh, peak window. Okay, but that is um, if the auto peak detection is doing a good job for you and you're happy with that. An alternative to that is the um, curve calculations window. If you open that one, you see here different options and today we want to focus on integration and LLS, which is linear regression. Okay, so let's start with integration. You just choose the option to do integration and then the software already tells you what to do. Well, let's first ex uh, remove these peaks so we can see the curve a bit better. And let's say for some reason, these two peaks are actually the species I'm interested in and I want to calculate maybe their charge to calculate how much I deposited. I just draw a line and then the software makes the integral between the curve and that line. Um, you immediately get the result and the real result of your integration is of course here, which is then in the unit ampere volts. However, most people are interested in the charge, so what you have then to do is divide this integral by the scan rate and for your convenience, Pierce Trace is already doing this for you. Okay, and um, by the way, this line that I draw, it doesn't have to be like on the curve, you can have it basically anywhere. So maybe you're interested in drawing the line with, um, let's say, with the zero axis for reasons, and then you can get that integral as well. Okay. Um, yes, so then you finish, you have your values in here, you uh, copy them to where you want to have them. And that was already um, the integration part, how to do it manually. The next thing I would like to talk about is linear regression. Okay, so in the same window, you can find the option for linear regression. And what you can now do is, you set two markers to define the part of the curve where you want to do the linear regression. So maybe you want to find out like how close is actually this to really a proper line uh, on the um, values that are in the curve. So now we take all these values between the two markers and perform a linear regression with it. As a result, we do get the slope of this line and we do get the R square. So the coefficient that gives an indication of uh, how close are the data points actually to a real line. A perfect real line would give you um, a one or two and everything below and the further it is away, the further it is away your data points from a real line. And this you can use for example to determine for example slope parts, let's say for example at the side uh, of your peak to find out how steep is your peak. Um, yeah, also here you can of course use the copy to clipboard to um, transport your results to another medium, a word file, a PowerPoint, your virtual lab book, etc. And that is already what I wanted to talk about in this video. So I hope you found this helpful and if you want to see more videos like that, uh, go to our YouTube channel and maybe subscribe. Um, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn where we regularly post updates so you don't miss any of our news. Um, so thanks for watching and have a great day.